Jason Rodriguez with supergreenworld.com and today Heather's going to be doing some juicing and she's going to be talking about the nutritional and environmental benefits of eating organic raw whole foods and juices. So here's Heather. Hi. Um, so I am going to be making a juice today and I, Jason was asking me earlier, he's like, why, you know, why should we put a juice on the show? I'm very, very into nutrition and eating, and it's one of the main things I do for my health and for the environment. So what I wanted to talk about was why eating a whole foods diet, particularly a vegetarian or vegan diet, is, um, is helpful to the environment. And one of the reasons is in the recent, you know, I've been doing a lot of different research, reading a lot of different books, and the number one thing that a person can do to impact the environment is go vegetarian. So that is a bigger impact that one person can make than anything, than changing light bulbs, than recycling, than any other step that we take is to go vegetarian. So I thought it would be helpful to show people um, what vegetarians eat or what how to just even eat more whole foods, um, how to eat foods that are really healthy for us. The other thing that really impacts the environment is um, processed foods, eating foods that come in boxes wrapped in plastic that are that are sent and um, traveled from far away places. So that you know that also makes an impact. But I was reading the number one cause of um, the highest amount of gas, green gas emissions, is from cows and meat production, higher than transportation. So that's just something for you to think about. So now I'm going to show you how to make. Um, today we're going to make a pineapple orange parsley ginger juice and um, I love juicing because it's a great and easy way to get a ton of nutrients very easily and the amount of um, food that goes into a quart of juice we would never be able to chew and to eat but since we are juicing it and taking the fiber out of it we're able to to drink it and then all the nutrients are absorbed right away in the intestines. Chuck, be quiet. That's Chaco. He's our puppy. Okay, so what we have here is a citrus juicer. This is a hand citrus juicer. And this thing is awesome because it's man powered. And so you can juice lemons, you can juice limes, oranges, tangerines, grapefruits. The grapefruits are a little bit big for it, but we still juice them in there. And, um, and you just hand press it like that. So I'm going to do this to prepare all of the orange juice. Okay, so now I'm going to juice the pineapple and the parsley. As you can see here, um, we have a juicer. This is a Huron juicer, uh, the best juicer we have found so far that does greens, does pretty much everything. doesn't like carrots that much. It does them, though, um, but it just does greens amazingly. And so we're going to do parsley. I chop up, whenever I do greens, I chop them up, or um, celery or anything like that so that it's easier on the juicer. And we've got the pineapple here, and we've got some ginger. This juicer also gets more juice out of the pulp than any juicer we found on the market, and we've tried a lot of them. So it gets really dry pulp, which is really great too when you're juicing, because you don't want to be wasting a lot of juice getting trapped in the pulp. You can see the juice coming out there. And I like to alternate um, greens and fruit, always ending with the fruit that I put in the juice so that it gets all the green juice out of the this is called the Huron Slow Juicer um, because of how it slowly presses the juice out. It is actually really fast compared to most slow juicers. Just the parsley come out there. So instead of being a masticating juicer like most juicers where the blade actually has little little blades on it and chops everything up, um, this one actually has a like a corkscrew and it's similar to a wheatgrass juicer where it actually squeezes, it actually basically squeezes it through the corkscrew out and twists it and squeezes it and that's how it gets all the juice out without any heat. So on the masticating style juicers it gets really, the blades get really hot and that can damage the juice as well. And if you notice it's really quiet. I can actually talk while I'm juicing. Normally you can't talk while you're juicing. You have to put like some type of music over the video. Or, but this thing is like just, it's like little hummer. It's very quiet. 
So I'm finishing putting the, um, this is an entire pineapple that we're juicing and almost an entire bunch of parsley. So I don't know in everyday life when I'd actually eat that much. So I'm able to juice and get all the benefits from these foods absorbed in my system within 15 minutes because I'm juicing it. And it also saves a lot of time. So I'm going to take this juice and I'm going to, should we strain it or should we just mix it with the orange juice? Um, we could probably just mix it with the orange juice. Whenever, if it's a, mostly a fruit juice, I usually don't strain it, but if it's a vegetable juice with a little bit of fruit in it, I usually strain it. But with the fruits, it's nice to, I kind of like the pulp with the fruit juice. Whoops. Got some more parsley. Do we have anything we can put in there that's fruit? <laughs> You can see how much juice is there and how little pulp. We used to use a champion juicer, and uh, actually, I've got it. I've got it right here. <laughs> um, as you can see here, the champion's got these blades on it, and it really heats up the juice a lot when it's juicing, and the pulp does not get very dry. Dry at all. It's really wet. And you see how little pulp there is with all this juice that we made? The champion would have been probably filled up to the top with pulp. So it's just showing it's not getting very much juice out. So we want to make sure we're getting all the juice out there, not only to get your money's worth, but also you don't want to be wasting food either. Okay, so now we're going to mix together the two juices and drink it. Cool. to use the blender uh, because it's a big container. I'm not going to actually physically blend these together. I'm going to just mix them. That's the orange juice. That's local uh, Valencia oranges from Ojai. And then here's our pineapple parsley ginger juice with a little bit of pear so that I could push the rest of the parsley through. try this one together. This is a really delicious juice and I don't, think ever, I don't think we've tried this blend before so let's see how it goes. I get the glass straw. And I have the metal reusable electrical straw. Oh my god. That's really good. <laughs> Yay! It's like a tonic. It's like very gingery and then the parsley isn't very strong but it has the presence and then the pineapple. Mm. Don't taste too much orange actually. No. Oh, a lot of ginger, a lot of mm. pineapple. I didn't even taste the parsley very much, but the ginger and pineapple are really good. Cool. Awesome. Enjoy.